Hey, Unreal 5.1 is released. I'm a little sick, but content needs to be produced. So I will make a quick little video about um, something that sort of surprised me in this release because I didn't see it when I was testing the release earlier, but anamorphic cameras can now be correctly used in the engine without some trickery in post-process or anything. So grab a cine camera out into your scene. I'm just using this bowling alley like so. I'm gonna move it, there we go. So we have two new options in the Cinecam to use. So we first have this crop setting, which is really handy because um, especially in virtual production, cameras, sensors, and they crop them. And so it's always like, oh, how do I find the exact crop for that sensor? Because like open gate on most cameras are four to three aspect ratio, but then you, you're shooting 16 by nine. So it's like, uh, you got to use math. So now instead I can just crop it to a set thing. So if we set, for example, uh, 35 Academy, no crop. There you go. There's a four by three. Now I can just crop that to 16 by nine really easily. I can also crop this even further to three, nine, or I can go custom, draw, drop it down and type. Maybe we do five to one or two to one really handy feature, but instead of cropping to anamorphic, there is one better we can do now. If we now I'm, I'm going to leave this on four by three. If we go into the lens settings here, we now have this thing called a squeeze factor. I probably shouldn't have put so much emphasis on the word squeeze there. So this is the equivalent of an anamorphic squeeze. So I'm going to throw some lenses up here, but you usually have a two to one squeeze factor for a four to three sensor or a 1.33 for DSLRs in 16 by nine. But if we put that, we into here so like that or if I switch it back to the DSLR setting and then plug it into here 1.33 we get an anamorphic view as well now you may notice something different I'm going to go full screen to this camera so as I change the squeeze we actually are affecting the FOV as a real anamorphic lens would the other thing is if we throw this out of focus so we're going to grab our focus settings and start to pull it back you may notice all the bokeh is oval shaped instead of the traditional circular shape. So circle, bokeh, and let me hide those. There we go, circle. And now we get the anamorphic bokeh for this sensor would be accurate like that. So no more do you need to do any sort of trickery or anything like that to get the correct look you're after. We can now we can now get a nice anamorphic look straight out of the engine as is in 5.1.